Today we're going back to March of 2021 to take a look at the most undervalued Sword and Shield booster box in my opinion. The Sword and Shield Battle Styles set is by far the most undervalued Pokemon card set of the last couple of years. This is the very first set that had alt arts on the inside. You have the alt art Sleepy Tyranitar, you have the alt art Urshifu Single Strike and Rapid Strike cards, you also have the really cool Empoleon card. A lot of really really good cards on the inside of this set. You can pick up a booster box of Battle Styles for right around $85 on TCGplayer.com. You can also find them by the case for a little bit less on eBay. If you buy a single box off eBay, you'd be looking at close to $95 or so for a single box. But in my opinion, this is the most undervalued set from the Sword and Shield era. If I had to compare it to another set, another era, I would actually compare this to the Unified Mindset of the Sun and Moon era. It has a lot of the same similarities to it. If I asked you right now, what's the most valuable card from Unified Minds? You'd probably go, uh, I'm not sure. But it's actually the uh, Rainbow Rare Mewtwo and Mew GX card. But in my opinion, the actual chase card from this set is the Tyranitar and the Sableye Altart GX. It's a really, really good looking card. Starting it off with the Victini VMAX from this Battle Styles box. We did sell this box to community member Ron J for $69. I do periodically sell booster boxes at $69 to the community. If you would like a shot at a $69 booster box, make sure you hop into the Discord chat. That is where I post those for sale. Going back to the comparison, the reason why I, I would compare it to Unified Minds is because it just doesn't have an ultimate chase card. If you go and look at a set like Unbroken Bonds, which is from the Sun and Moon era, it has the Charizard chase card. If you look at the team up set, the reason why the team up set is so popular is just because it was the very first set that had the Tag Team GX cards and the Alt Art cards in it. And if you look at Battle Styles, the this is the first set that had the Alt Arts in it for the Sword and Shield era. Doesn't have the best alt arts, but the Sleeping Tyranitar is a really, really cool alt art in my opinion. We got a full art Mimic UV. Last time I checked, this was selling for right around seven or eight dollars. Not the most valuable card. Really, really nice full art Mimic UV here. The comparison to Unified Minds goes a little bit further. It really is the least valuable set from the tag team era. If you compare it to other sets in the Sun and Moon era, it's even less expensive than sets like Lost Thunder, which don't even have the tag team or alt art cards on the inside. So if you consider the fact that the least valuable set with alt arts from the Sun and Moon era is over $350, the first set that has the alt arts in the Sword and Shield era has a pretty good chance of being a pretty expensive booster box. While the alt arts aren't as good as the Unified Minds alt arts, this is still a really, really good set and really, really undervalued at that $85 price. Let's see what else we can get out of this box here. Really nice looking Steelix, Tool Jammer, code card for you guys. I do give away all of the code cards in every single one of my videos. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button for me on this video as well. Let's see what else we can get out of this box. We've got the Prime Ape and the code card for you guys. The Gold Level Ball is actually the most valuable trainer card from this set. There's some really good trainer cards in this set. You have the Cheryl, you have the Phoebe, you have the Karina's Focus. All the female trainer cards that you really like to see. A very nice Rainbow Rare, Secret Rare, Single Strike, Urshifu VMAX. That's our second really, really good hit out of this box. Last time I checked, this was selling for right around $10 or so. Not the most valuable card. This is why Battle Styles has such a bad reputation. There's not a lot of really expensive chase cards. The most valuable card, the Sleeping Tyranitar Alt Art card, is still less than the value of a box right now. But as a sealed item, long-term potential, I still believe Battle Styles is extremely undervalued. It's by far the least expensive Sword and Shield booster box. It costs less than a Rebel Clash booster box. And come on, who can actually think of what the chase card from Rebel Clash is? The boss's orders, maybe the Sonya card from Rebel Clash. It's a much, much worse set, but it costs more. I understand that the print runs and things like that factor into it. But in the long run, people are going to want Battle Styles more than they're going to want Rebel Clash and other various sets from the Sword and Shield era. Vivid Voltage has the Rainbow Rare Pikachu, but even that set isn't as good as Battle Styles. The Amazing Rares are pretty cool, but they're just not on the same level as the Alt Arts and the Full Arts and the Trainer Cards that are on the inside of a Battle Styles booster box. Battle Styles is one of the smaller sets from the Sword and Shield era. It does have 203 cards. Really nice Stoutland V there. There's a Phoebe card there, including all the Secret Rares. It does have 203 cards, which is one of the smaller sets. So 
but it is a little bit easier to pull things from the battle style set than some of the others especially like chilling rain and fusion strike which were some of the biggest sets of all time Let's see what else we can get from this box galarian slowbro there code card for you guys best of luck to whoever's redeeming those if you guys pull anything really cool from the uh, code cards let me know down in the comments all right Let's see what else we can get here normally you get an average of 8 to 12 hits per booster box you normally get about four regular v's two v max one full art there's a Cricketune v right now we are at three regular v's two v max and one full art so we could be out of hits completely from this box or it could end up being an extremely crazy good box if we get anything else in the back half of these packs let's find out you guys think ron j is going to break that 69 dollar price it's our second rapid strike single strike urshifu v energy recycle really good card there's the code card for you guys these were some of the most powerful cards when they first released um, they've done a lot of promo cards a lot of promotional boxes they did that black friday box to push out the single and rapid strike cards to the player so they would be able to get those at a fairly inexpensive cost that's why a lot of these cards are really really low in value because they've just been printed so many times for 85 dollars a booster box there's not many other items that i would consider a better value right now than this battle styles booster box some of the other items that you could get in this price range would be just like regular elite trainer boxes other collection boxes things that just won't hold as much value as a booster box long term sealed booster boxes always hold value long term no matter how good or bad the set is i think that the battle style set does get unfairly judged because at the time that this was released we were at an all-time high I would even say that we were in a bubble, a Pokemon card bubble, where prices had just skyrocketed so high, everything was flying off the shelves, every card store was making a ton of money, everybody was having a really good time. And when Battle Styles released, that's when the bubble started to deflate a little bit. They printed it pretty heavily. Uh, there was three waves total, if I remember correctly, of Battle Styles. And once the first wave came out and it wasn't selling as well as the previous sets and all the other items, People started canceling their orders. People started dumping it on eBay. I actually picked up all of my Battle Styles booster boxes for right around $74 with um, eBay bucks, credit card rewards, and things like that. The all-in price, right around $73, $74 just off of eBay. I didn't have any special connection, any special deals, or anything like that. And it had to have been a loss because the wholesale cost for booster boxes has gone up quite a bit. Really nice Electivire there. Code card for you guys. This is a really fun set to open as well. If you really, really enjoy opening packs, this is a really fun set to open. If you're looking for that ultimate chase card, the Charizard card, this really isn't the set for you. Really, really good Galarian Mr. Rhyme and the code card for you guys. So after everybody started canceling all their orders and dumping all this product, Battle Styles just got a really, really bad reputation because people weren't making money anymore. People were unhappy. People were panicking. Really cool looking Luxray. Phantom Waves, a really good card to get rid of special energy. And in my opinion... The sets that came before, Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage, Rebel Clash, even Sword and Shield base set just weren't as good. I understand whenever they start an era, they do have to feature the mascots, Sword and Shield base. They featured Zashin and Zamazenta and the starters. And then they slowly introduced the new region of Pokemon throughout the next couple of sets. Sword and Shield Battle Styles was the last set where they really featured the Galar Pokemon. And right now, the Galar Pokemon are just more sentimental towards the younger generation. As they grow up, they're going to look back on these sets and they're really going to enjoy them just like we enjoy our original, you know, Kanto Johto starters, if you're my age. <laughs> the Galar region is actually a really, really awesome region. The starters are really, really cool. You have Sobble, you have Grookey, you have Scorbunny, some of the best starters that we had in a long, long time. And once they got through Sword and Shield base and all the way up through Battle Styles, once they introduced all the Galar Pokemon, you got to Chilling Rain right afterwards, which started to introduce some of the older generation Pokemon. You had the, the Blaziken VMAX, of course. You had a few of the Galar Pokemon still in that set, but it really started to shift towards other regions and more popular Pokemon to just kind of start you know, pumping out products, selling product, getting that hype coming back. After Chilling Rain, you had Fusion Strike, which featured Gengar and featured Mew. So obviously those weren't geared towards the Galar region. They had all tarts just like battle styles. Let's see what we can get out of this pack here. Coming down to it, we got a Victini V. That could be our last hit from this box. We do have four regular V cards, one V Max, regular V Max, one Rainbow V Max, and one full art. We could still pull an all tart, which would be really, really cool. Battle Styles is known as more of a player set, but honestly, there's not a there's not a ton of really playable cards on the inside of this set. The Empoleon V has actually started to see more play because it shuts off 
uh, single prize decks. But other than that, the Rapid Strike and Single Strike Urshifus just aren't very powerful anymore. The trainer cards aren't really that great. Cheryl sees some play. The Karina's Focus sees a little bit of play. The Phoebe sees play if you want to get around the Mill Tanks of the world. But it's just not really a extremely playable set like everybody tries to make it out to be. Um, Energy Recycler is pretty good. Gold Bat's kind of cool, but nobody really plays that card at all. It's just a really, really solid set. It's the first set that has alt arts on the inside of it for the Sword and Shield era. One of my favorite cards from the set, the Gold Hound Doom is a secret rare card another mimic uv that is our fifth regular v card and our second Mim mimic uv it's really cool that we got both of those mimic U's right there this turned out to be a pretty good box so far i don't think we're going to break that 69 dollars price here for ron j unfortunately but one of the coolest secret rare cards one of the hardest cards to pull the secret rare gold hound doom is like 12 dollars right now if i were to pick a card out of battle styles that's going to perform really really well as a single card long term it would definitely be that single strike secret rare hound doom sitting at like 11 12 dollars it's an absolute steal in my opinion very very cool pokemon we got two packs left here right now i think we're at an overall value of around 30 dollars another reason why battle styles gets a bad reputation right now but you have to separate long term sealed product value from the stuff that's on the inside as the years go by, people care less and less on what's on the inside and more about just having the sealed product. I can't think of a single booster box that you can open up from the last 15 years that even if you pulled all of the chase cards from it, you would actually make a profit by opening it. It's more about just having the sealed product. And at $85, a Battle Styles booster box is the cheapest booster box you could pick up from the Sword and Shield era. And with it being the first set that contains alt arts from the Sword and Shield era, I think just by default, it's gonna do really, really well. As the other alt art sets become more and more scarce and the alt art cards are bought up, you know, people do buyouts on those all the time. I think that battle styles are just going to rise with those a little bit more slowly. It's definitely not gonna be as expensive as Fusion Strike, Chilling Rain, uh, especially Brilliant Stars, and uh, not even close to Evolving Skies. But as the low end, alt art box of the sword and shield era sitting at 85 dollars right now it's a really really good deal let's do a recap of this battle styles booster box we got the mimic uv big teeny v we have the rapid strike and single strike urshifu cricket tune we got a lot of v cards here one two three four five six v cards we got a big teeny v max a full art mimic uv and the secret rare single strike urshifu let me know what you guys think of the battle style set do you guys think i'm absolutely crazy and have no idea what i'm talking about or do you agree that this is very undervalued at the 85 dollars price tag 